Hi there, wanted to make an update video on the accelerometer project. Quite a big jump in terms of an update in this one. Let's take a closer look. In terms of an update, the entire system has actually been rebuilt. Now, this is the central accelerometer unit. It's driven off this, which is an Arduino Mini Pro. It has the same MPU6050 chip as the previous one, the same SD card, now mounted on a little piece of aluminum with the battery. The big difference with this is that there's another accelerometer. I'll just ignore this clamp, it's still drying. But this is a sort of uh, free accelerometer which can be mounted somewhere else in the car. So it logs two accelerometer readings. The interface has also been shrunk considerably to just contain an on and off switch and an LED. Everything still communicates using uh, Ethernet plugs. There are now two. One, this one here, goes to the extraneous accelerometer. There's its little uh, Ethernet plug and the other one runs to the interface. Now a big reason why the interface could be shrunk to just a switch is a change in how the data is stored on the SD card. Instead of having file numbers, there is now just one file that's created. And every time uh, the system is turned on and off, a new partition is made in that file. Uh, there's a header that's first printed whenever you turn on the system that gives runtime, uh, the file number, and prints out what each column means, which is way handier in uh, post-processing. Running the system is as simple as it was before. We SD card goes in. Battery goes live. We can see the Arduino thinking about things and then logging on, logging off. So that's one header written. Then on and off wrote another header in the same file with a different start time and a different file number. So this here is the kind of file this unit puts out. We can see the partition it prints. Excel data longer, file number one, start time in milliseconds. And then sensor one's data and sensor two's data, which goes a little bit off screen. We can see the printing of time down the is the uh, first column now, instead of the last column. And here's an example of the uh, partition in action. So this data stopped being read there and then another recording session was started here. Excel data logger, file number two, start time 8961 milliseconds. And then we see the first data point is 8985. So there's some initialization time, then it starts running. And there we go, two partitions sitting on the same file. They can be easily separated for post-processing. Uh, another important thing is that this, uh, this version actually puts the direct G value into the file and not just the integer value read um, from the accelerometer. It actually does most of the post-processing on board, which uh, sort of slows it down. You can see here 81 milliseconds between uh, data points. When I mean it used to be about 20 on the previous model, but then of course it's taking in two data points and it's running at two megahertz less speed than before. Or, I mean, sorry, not two data points, two sensors. So it is doing much more work, and I think that kind of refresh rate is still very good. It's still putting in, or here's here's a second, from four to four. It's putting in at least, I mean, that must be ten data points. So it's above ten hertz, which I think is perfect. It's faster than I think is required. But there you go, that's the kind of file. I just wanted to get some close shots because I did spend a lot of time trying to make this unit much smaller than the other one. And I'm pretty proud of how everything got really squished in there. No, uh, no real area on this board isn't used for a task. Of course the uh, use of a mini really helps. It's very tiny. I might uh, make a video just showing all the uh, different Arduinos and maybe there applications and which one's best for which one. But yeah, I'm pretty uh, very happy with how this turned out. And it's got some weight to it, it's like pro proper electronics that one. So that's it, another accelerometer unit. Uh, I'll quickly show you outside. It is uh, very snowy, which is why there is no uh, actual car data for this uh, unit yet. But uh, hopefully in the next few months, either go to a go-kart track or stick it back into the Echo and just 
see what kind of stuff we can pull out. And again, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe for more content because it's going to be just like this in the future and different projects. Just imagine that. I mean, <coughs> more projects. What, what else do you want? Like, or cereal. I like cereal.